Okay, um, one thing I'd like to just finish off with is the bit about the units, all right? And I've got a little diagram that will kind of fit some of those units that we did yesterday, you know, the atomic mass unit and the electron volt and all that sort of business, okay? Uh, so, let's imagine up here on this level, you've got the world of people and trees and stuff, okay? Uh, in that world, we use, for mass, we use the kilogram, yeah? And for energy, we use the joule, okay? And there is a famous equation called E equals mc squared, which will take you from kilograms to joules, all right? And it basically does it using that conversion number, which is 9 times 10 to the 16, all right? C squared, speed of light squared, 3 times 10 to the 8, is 9 times 10 to the 16. If you want to turn a kilogram into joules, you times it by 9 times 10 to the 16, all right? One kilogram of mass, if you want to convert that into energy, or make it from energy, it would involve 9 times 10 to the 16 joules, and vice versa, okay? Now, down here, we have the world of the atom, okay? In, in particular, the nucleus, all right? And on this level, we don't use a kilogram for mass. We use the atomic mass unit U, okay? 1.66 times 10 to the minus 27 kilograms, okay? We also don't use the joule for energy, particularly we use the electron volt, okay? An electron volt is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 of a joule, okay? Now, what we can basically do, if I said to you, I've got this much mass, I want to know how much energy, all right? If I've got a reaction where that much mass is disappearing, I want to know how much energy. You might think, oh dear, here we go, look, that's atomic mass units, I've got to put that into kilograms, yeah, so I've got to convert it into kilograms. Then I can do the times by 9 times 10 to the 16, yeah? But the question he's asked me, what's the answer in electron volts? Yeah? So I would have to convert U into kilograms, use 9 times 10 to the 16 to convert it into energy, like we were doing yesterday, and then convert it into electron volts, like that, okay? Can you see the shortcut? Yeah? You don't need to, if I say to you, here's a mass of one point of one U, can you turn it into electron volts for me? You don't need to think of that and think, oh no, I've got to put the U into kilograms, turn the kilograms into joules, and put the joules into electron volts. What we can do is just do this step once, okay? So with your calculators, let's work out then, one U, if we convert it into energy, would be how many electron volts, all right? Let's see how it comes out. 1U, as we said, is 1.66 times 10 to the minus 27 kilograms. So we convert it into kilograms. We times it by 9 times 10 to the 16. Okay, so let's just do that. What happens if you do that? 1U is 1.66 times 10 to the minus 27 kilograms. That's fine, that's in kilograms. We can times it by C squared, 9 times 10 to the 16. We're going to get... 1.49 times 10 to the minus 10. Oh, 1.49 times 10 to the minus 10 yep. joules. Have we agreed on that? Mm -hmm. Yep. Now, uh, being a typical, I mean, if this was a proper question, you wouldn't want the answer in joules, would you? If you're working with nuclei all the time, you do your, your masses in U, you do your energy in electron volts, right? So we've got to do the third step. We've got here, haven't we? Yeah? We've converted the U into kilograms. We've converted it into energy using 9 times 10 to the 16. Now we've put it into electron volts, which is easy because you just divide it by 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19. Okay, that's how many joules there are in an electron volt. Okay, so can you take that number from previously, if you've still got it, and divide it by 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19? Yeah, yeah. Let's go with that. 9.3 times 10 to the 8 yeah. electron volts. Okay. Now, that's a really, really useful number to remember. In fact, if you think about it, if I said to you, um, I've now got another particle, I've got another reaction, let's say, and we're losing uh, 2.6U. Yeah? If I said to you, here's a reaction, the mass that's being lost is 2.6U, how much energy would that be? If you remember that number, you see, that's how much energy in electron volts you get from one U's worth of mass. Okay, so another way of thinking about E equals mc squared is not to think about E equals mc squared involving kilograms and joules. That was lots of fun in yesterday's lesson. We worked out how much energy from a power station, you remember to work out a kilogram. 
is actually not very useful, all right? E in joules equals mass in kilograms times C squared. It looks great on posters and things, but actually it's not a very useful equation because most of the time, if you're actually using it for real reactions that do convert mass into energy, then you're using U's and you're using electron volts, okay? So let's just have a look at this number down here. That's the amount of energy you would get in EV by um, changing one U's worth of mass, okay? If I said to you, here's a reaction, it loses 0.6 U, yeah? Can you tell me how much energy that is in electron volts? Easy. Just times it by that, don't you? Yeah? That's the energy in electron volts you get from one atomic mass unit. So any exam question that said a reaction loses 1.79 U, you would just do 1.79 times that. Yeah? Let's try and put that number in a more friendly form. Okay. Um, we're clearly well above the electron volt. Are we more than kilo electron volts? We are, aren't we? Are we more than mega electron volts? Giga electron volts? No, so let's try and put it into MeV. MeV is 10 to the 6. That would leave us with two powers of 10, so it would be quite famously, it's quite a famous number, and it is 931. All right? 931 MeV. So actually, you can short circuit all three of those steps, and the fewer steps you have to do in your A level exam, particularly with a calculator. So that's a bit rude, wasn't it? <laughs> I did that about. Um, but seriously, the more things you have to do when you calculate with these horrible numbers, the more chance you've got of getting it wrong. All you've got to do is just remember 931 MeV. Yeah? One U's worth of mass, because they're not going to give it to you in kilograms, because what would be the point? Will convert into 931 MeV, 931 million electron volts of energy, because they're not going to want it in joules. Okay, so can I suggest you, low equals mc squared looks quite exciting. This is actually doing the same job. This turns mass into energy, but it does it in the nuclear world. Are you with me? Using nuclear units for mass and nuclear units for energy. Okay, so can I ask you to commit to memory? I don't think it's on the equation sheet. Are you with me? I don't think they give you this. They give you the 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19. But this is a really useful number to put in your margin. Remember, 931 MeV is the energy in electron volts you get from one U's worth of mass. Okay? And because it's such a useful number, I don't think you get on the equation sheet. Okay? So, can I suggest, as well as e equals mc squared, times the number of kilograms by 9 times 10 to 16, get the energy in joules. Actually, no one ever does that. Who wants to work in kilograms and joules when you're doing this kind of thing? This is better. This turns U's into EV, 931 MeV. One U's worth of mass will convert to 931 million electron volts of energy. Okay? And any equation that you get now, sorry, any uh, for, you know, reaction that you get now that loses a certain number of U, you just multiply it by that. Okay?